Well, good afternoon, campers. I'm back on the bank. Daughters Lake's behind me. And the reason I'm doing Daughters is because A, I'm on my own, and B, it's been shut for a, uh, about a week because we had low oxygen levels, but uh, the oxygen levels have uh, perked up a little bit. So before it gets opened up again, I just want to give it a little bit of a tester. So uh, let's have a go. We're in swim four, uh, as usual, because that's a confident swim for me and uh, gonna see how it goes. Right campers, I've just chucked the lead out. What I'm gonna do is get that one raw fish in um, nice and early. So uh, at least I'm fishing before or while I set up all my bivvy and bed chair and all that old jazz. So I've got me ever faithful Ronnie's. It's nice to be back on the bank, to be fair. I don't know whether I said, but when I got here, as soon as I walked into the swim, the fish showed directly to my left in the margin, which is good. Like that. I should really get the old bivvy up sooner rather than later, if I'm honest, because it looks a bit moody, the old sky. Hopefully, we'll be all right. Right, so that is on now. What I'll do is give it a quick test in the water. Right, so that, when I tested that uh, pop-up in the water, it was super buoyant. So what I've done is I've, uh, I don't know if you can see that, I've um, just chafed off a bit around the edges. So that sits absolutely gorgeous now. Um, I've also made one of my usual pellet bags uh, and I've got some mixed pellet in there so let's go around there and have a little look see if we can put it in the right spot well for everyone who's seen my uh, vlogs on Daughters Lake Swim 4 before will know that I'm gonna fire one across the bank which I've just done Right, so I'm ready to put it all together. I've also got a little bit of uh, sweet corn that I'm going to chuck in just for a bit of colour. Right, so the first one's in. Uh, second one I'm going to put in a solid bag, just pellets, because unbelievably I've decided not to fish with a single boilie tonight. It's all going to be pellet, except for the old white pop up. So. Again, I've whittled that down, so it's uh, absolutely critically balanced, if you like. And then um, it's only about three inches long. It's perfect for the bag. So, like I say, I think I think I might have said it. Underarm cast to my left, where I've caught fish before, just off a grassy tuft. So I'm going to clip my rod up and make that bag up. Right, so I'm going to try and get this on film. Me making a bag. Just put a little bit in first. Then we get the, uh, the gubbins. Perfect. Put a little bit more in. Another fish just showed over there. And again, that's five shows so far. Right, what I, what I do now is pour a little bit of this stuff in. It's just tiger nut oil, which uh, gives it a little bit of beautifulness. Tap that bad boy down. And a bit more pellet. Getting that tail rubber in the middle. 
because I'm not uh, chucking it out like 80 yards or whatever it's only halfway across the lake which is a narrow lake what I don't stress about is really getting it compact so I'll show you why in a minute right, so twist that bad boy around Hold that on there till the bag sticks to each other. It's kind of it so far. And then, now what I'll do is I'll tap it down a little bit. It's just an underarm cast, so. Flick the corner down. So what's that? That's five fish I've shot, seen or heard show. That's good. It means they're moving about. Hopefully. Might have some news for you instead of uh, a live fish, instead of a spongy one. Like on my last vlog. Now, people, that is my bag. Little bit of goo in there as well. Nothing. And then, I'll always put the lid on, because I've had a little accident with that before. So, now, once we've done that, put the old bags away in case they get a little bit damp. So I'm convinced the rain's coming. Now, I've got a baiting needle here. What I tend to do is just cut the holes. And that is good to go. It's all right, isn't it? Doesn't take long. Let's get this in. Right then, all three rods are in. Um, I've just got to sort out that lot. Get me bivvy up. Most importantly, have a cup of tea. Just had a cheeky knock on my middle rod. Right then, so I am all settled in and happy. Mainly because of that. But um, I've had a knock on that middle rod over to the stump, so that's good. Uh, might be fishing in and around the area, back leaded, so fingers crossed. And to top it off, I have got for dinner homemade chicken curry. Thanks, babe. That's going to be lovely. Put that on right now. Well, I tell you what, campers, I am making myself a celebratory brew um, because I'm off the mark, thank Christ. Um, nice little grassy, 13 pounds and 14 ounces. So uh, I think I might have said on the video that I'll put up so you can see it. Um, there's quite a lot of grasses in um, daughters, so. If you're going to hit a fish, you might you might stand a good chance of hitting a uh, grasso. So that's good. It's a nice relaxer. Um, I would like to get hold of one of the mirrors, but we'll have a look and see what happens. In the meantime, I was having a brew when my alarm went off. So uh, it was one wasted cup of tea while I was playing the fish and then doing all the photos and that. So. Yeah, so I'm making up for it now with this one.
frothy though this one again so anything else happens I'll keep you informed but in the meantime have a little look at this well campers I'm off the mark thank god what a relaxer that is now got a grassy here it's just gone a bit mental in the net as they always do and uh, I'll just cover him up soaking wet legs I've got already hello mate how you doing? it's nice to meet you please be good don't bash me up Gonna get me wet, I think. Have a little look at him if we can. Gonna be a good boy. There you go. Happy days, and it's daylight. Since I last spoke to you, I've seen probably about another four shows, um, but I'm happy with my rod positions, so I don't really want to change one up if I'm honest so yeah so we'll have to wait and see but plenty of activity out here so far well good evening campers it's just gone half past nine I think it is something like that that lights a little bit bright isn't it um, just making myself a brew just done another one, haven't I? This time a fantastic little dumpy mirror, one of the new ones. Um, so absolutely made up with that. Um, it was quite light when I caught it uh, about half an hour ago. Didn't have to use the flash or anything when I was uh, filming it, so that's good. So happy days. Um, yeah. Really, really happy with that. So I'm going to enjoy my tea. I was actually laying in my pit, just dropping off. Um, thought I'll try and bag an early night. But, uh, yeah. I'm pleased that went off, because I'll quite happily get out of bed for a little fish like that. Have a little look. Well, campers, it is um, about ten past nine. Still a little bit of light left. I've only gone and got a bloody another one, haven't I? This time, a dumpy little stocky. I can't believe it, I'm absolutely buzzing with this. He's a cracking little fish. Absolute stunner. Look at that. Shoulders on it is huge. That's fantastic. Absolutely made up with that. I don't know how big it is or how small it is, but it doesn't matter. That is a faint oh. A little bit angry there absolutely fantastic looking fish what a stunner thank you very much how cool is that thanks mate Mwah. well good morning campers it is half past 12 and um, about 12 o'clock I had a take on my left hand rod the solid PVA bag with the pellets in, um, played that for a bit, netted it, happy days. So uh, yeah I'm absolutely made up, three fish so far and it's only half twelve. Um, I've got to get up at half five but I thought sod it I'm having another cup of tea. I'm up now so I've had to redo the rig because uh, the fish somehow managed to get rid of the uh, milky toffee pop up. Uh, it was in the net, but it was unusable, so I've had to redo all that again. Um, yeah, nice little stocky mirror. Beautiful, beautiful scale pattern on it, so I can't knock that. I can't knock the session I'm having, so happy days. Just going to chill out, have a cup of tea, and see if I can get my head down. 
but I did forget my bleeding mozzie coils and I'm getting bombarded when I'm laying in here um, every now and then you can hear one coming in buzzing like a good and just can't relax but I don't care three fish up so happy days hello campers it's just gone 12 o'clock about five past I've been lucky enough to get another one again Another new little stocky. Not the biggest in the world, but what a proper scaly little beauty. I mean, Annie's angry, the old fin's up. That is just class. So, uh, proper made up with that. Absolutely fantastic. So, thanks very much. That was on a solid bag, that one. So, that's even better news. Fantastic. Cheers mate. Well good morning camp, this is a beautiful morning. I'm sitting in the sunshine on my bucket talking to you after having another fish. What a result. So oh, one's just shown again out there. I think I lost count at about 18 shows last night, so um, they're very active in here. Uh, yeah, like I say, I've just had one. Um, absolutely buzzing and made up with that well a very good morning to you campers it's just gone five o'clock I don't know if you remember I said I was getting up at half five anyway uh, just gone five and I had a different type of alarm go off which is happy days have a little look this one's probably smaller they're getting smaller but very pretty now Hello mate, so absolutely made up with this one, nice nice way to wake up in the morning, sun shining, it's beautiful, so really really made up with that, he's a stunner isn't he, so thanks for waking me up mate, quite a good session eh, love that, Cup of tea's on the cards, I think. Thanks, mate. I thought while I'm here, I'm waiting for the kettle to boil, I'll just go through as a little uh, reminder because I'm sure I've showed you before my rig. But I've just because I'm not going to cast this one back out because I've got to start packing down in a minute. Um, so I thought I'll go through uh, and show you my components of what I've been catching the fish on because apart from the solid PVA bag, the other two rods. Um, are both exactly the same. So we've got flying back red just there, then we've got about that much sink tube, not a lot. Normal lead clip system on there, I think that's a two ounce lead, yeah. And then the Ronnie, there it is. Um, I don't know if I said last night, but when I put 14 mil milky toffee pop-ups on this Ronnie rig it was too buoyant um, because if you can see there I don't have a lot of um, putty some people put a great big ball of putty on there and sometimes they even put a little bit of ball a uh, little bit of putty around the shaft of the hook I don't really like doing that so what I've done instead is I've chafed off loads of the um, pop-up just to cut down its buoyancy so uh, it sits absolutely spot on like that and there's only a little bit of putty there so I'm not going to knock this rig because uh, it's done me three fish this and the other rod and then I had another one on the solid PVA bag which is exactly the same except in the PVA bag I've got a uh, an inline lead instead of that and my solid bag rig is probably three inches maybe so um, this this rigs well, it's easy five maybe five and a half inches so like I say can't knock it because it's done the business for me last night and this morning so very happy days.
Now I'm going to have my pro, excuse me, and uh, start packing down. I'm going to leave two rods in the water while I'm packing down though, because you never know the way things are going. I might nick one. The, uh, the only rod that stayed quiet for me last night is the uh, tree stump rod which I've caught from loads of times which is a surprise. I've had loads of knocks on it but nothing's actually picked it up so but I'm not moaning it's all good just packing stuff away and my uh, <laughs> tree stump rod goes off And you can't believe this, it's a bonus tench. Ah, what's the chances? I can't believe that. Cheeky little tench we must have missed when we netted it. I'll show you. <laughs> That's bonkers, isn't it? Middle rod that uh, has been knocking all night. Resulted in a tench. I haven't caught a tench for ages. <clears throat> there we go. Cheeky little tench. Can't believe that, can you? Ben and I netted this lake. We uh, tried to get all the tench out, obviously missed a few. But um, that's alright because I'll move that to the tench pond this morning. Give somebody else a lot of joy, wouldn't it? Fantastic. Right then, campers, that's me all done, all tidy, clear. I'm off to work. I'll be skipping around the fishery today uh, after that session, so I'm proper made up. It's a cracking morning this morning. Loads of uh, mist rolling off the lake. It's beautiful. So, uh, if you're fishing, good luck and I will hopefully see you next week. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. Take it easy campers. Well, good afternoon campers. I'm back on the bank. Daughters Lake's behind me. And the reason I'm doing Daughters is because A, I'm on my own, and B, it's been shut for a, uh, about a week because we had low oxygen levels, but uh, the oxygen levels have uh, perked up a little bit. So before it gets opened up again, I just want to give it a little bit of a tester. So uh, let's have a go. We're in swim four, as usual, because that's a confident swim for me and uh, gonna see how it goes. <laughs> 